Imagine you're walking down a city street and every building looks the same. It would be very boring and dull. Well, today, I'm going to make sure this does not happen in your Minecraft city by presenting to you 12 building ideas to keep your city looking unique and original. But first, please make sure to like if you enjoy and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We'll start out with the most obvious one which is high rises or skyscrapers. These are essential to any city because they are an efficient way of using land space in high density areas. Most commonly they can be found in the form of condos or offices, although you could try something unique like a shopping center or an indoor golf arena. If you would like to know how to build realistic skyscrapers, then have a look at this video here shown in the top right corner where I explain simply how to build them in Minecraft. It is important that you have the correct ratio of high rises to mid rises and low rises because a city with only tall buildings is very unrealistic and other sized buildings are required to make everything look flush with another. Moving on to the second idea, which is rather essential, is mid rises. Not every building has to be a skyscraper. These provide taller buildings with scale and are large on the inside so that they can be used for pretty much anything. They can be apartments for people who want to live nearer the ground, governmental buildings, offices and pretty much anything else you can think of. Make sure to build modern ones in newer areas and older ones too to make sure your city has history. They are sometimes connected to each other so experiment with this too. Your city needs a place to store all of its goods. This is why you should build warehouses in your Minecraft city. People often forget about economical infrastructure needed to sustain a city, and warehouses are very important to store things which may be sold for profit. You have to remember that a city would collapse, not literally, if its economy declined too much, so don't forget these in your city. They are also a very good way of making your city look big because they use a huge amount of space. The younger generation need a place to learn. If not, the future will not look good. So schools are a very good thing to build in Minecraft. Depending on what country you live in, schools differ lots. But just for an example, here in the UK we have nurseries, primary schools, secondary schools, colleges, universities and extended education. You should make sure there is at least one of all of these in your city and make sure to spread them apart. Also, do not have them too near the city centre because you will never see this in real life, whatever country you go to. If this isn't enough, make sure to build unique education campuses such as flight schools and molecular science schools. There are an endless amount of buildings you can make associated with the education sector and they are imperative for your residents. Factories are a great thing to build in Minecraft, although you must make sure they're in the right place. You will only find factories in designated industrial districts as this separates houses from loud and polluted factories. And these districts are often quite far away from the city centre as they are not the most pleasing places to look at. In a real city, these factories would employ many, many residents and increase your income. Therefore, it is realistic to put them in yours. Another benefit is that, similar to warehouses, they can be very large and make your city look very big. If your city has a large sports fan base, then you will need a stadium for them to play in. I know they may be very difficult to build, but they are also so impressive and will make your city have lots of life. You don't have to build an 80,000 seater stadium, it could just be 15,000 seats for a smaller football team. Also remember to build ones for all sports that your city has a team in. It could be a rugby or cricket stadium, hockey or basketball arena, and all other sports stadiums. Just make sure to have them away from the central area of the city as they require a lot of real estate. You can also have multiple stadiums for one sport. For example, Bristol has a football stadium for their city team and Rovers team. Number 7 is public entertainment. 
Let's look at Piccadilly Circus in London. We can see lots of theatres where shows are being played all year round. This brings in lots of income and attracts tourists, which increases the economy of your city. So make sure to have these sorts of things in yours. They are very fun to decorate because you can build sets for different shows that could be happening, although it doesn't have to just be theatres. It could be cinemas, ice rinks, bowling alleys, indoor climbing parks, trampoline parks and much more. You could even place these inside of a mid-rise building and disguise it as this does happen in real life when interiors are repurposed for something more productive. Public services are vital to keep your city safe and profitable. Cities rely on hospitals, clinics, police stations, fire stations, secret service buildings, embassies, sewage plants, etc. So it goes without saying that these must be in your Minecraft world. Each one of them needs to be in a different place though. For example, you must have your embassies in the city centre so they are easy to find for foreign visitors. Hospitals Police stations and fire stations must cover everywhere in your city, so they are easy to reach, and sewage plants must be away from any housing, just like factories. You could even go as far as building underground sewage pipes, although given that these would be rarely seen, I wouldn't recommend it. Just make sure to have the vitals, or your city will be very unorganised and all of your residents will be in disarray. If you want to buy something, where do you go? To the shopping centre, obviously, and this is the reason that they should be in your Minecraft city. It is the best way of making profit, and it allows your residents to be happy whilst giving you their money. They can be huge, a bit like Blue Water in Kent, or just a small area under a train station like this one found in Japan. It could be indoors and have many floors, or be a pedestrianised street lined with many shops. If you do use the more common outside option, make sure to have housing on the higher floors above the shops to make the most of the space. When you build the shops, you could design a few brands of your own and use some ones that you see frequently in real life. Make sure to use brands that appear in the place that you are taking inspiration from. For example, I build in UK style, so I will not build a Walmart as you do not see these over here. The next one is parks. Public parks are greatly appreciated by citizens, evident by their popularity. This is because humans love greenery and try to implement it in any way into their lives. So a park with plenty of bushes and trees is a perfect way of pleasing everybody. Build kids play areas too, as the younger generation are the future population of your city. Parks can be small or big, but make sure to have lots of them, as people won't complain. In Minecraft, it is important to use custom trees in your parks, because default sapling grown trees don't really cut the mustard. For example, Andia uses amazing trees to make all of their pedestrian areas look beautiful. This one is very obvious, but every city in the world has houses where people live. Now you are probably saying, are you stupid? Of course I'm going to build houses. And I know you will, but it's important that you build the right type of house in the right place. For example, in the inner city just outside of the high rise area, you will have terraced Victorian houses made of brick and on narrow streets. These will be found in blocks and have no drives or garages. This is because back in the day when these houses were built, they didn't use cars. Just a bit further out of the city you will find semi-detached houses which will have gardens and driveways. These would have been built any time after 1950. And eventually you get to the so-called suburbs where you find the larger, more expensive detached houses that are generally more modern. Don't forget to add apartment towers in your city, as this provides a higher population density. And at last, but not least, is transport. This is a very broad term, but basically, you want your citizens to feel as if they can get anywhere in your city relatively cheaply and quickly. 
This is done by using a mixture of bus routes, stops and terminals, train stations, trams and you may even want to build an airport if you feel that your city qualifies for one. Of course transport doesn't really work in Minecraft but the whole point of this video is to provide you with the ideas that will make your city as realistic as it can be. Kinda irrelevant but I'd just like to add in quickly that if your city is in European style you will eventually need a cathedral to allow it to be classified as a city. Thank you very much for watching if you got this far. This video took many hours to record and edit so a like and subscribe would mean so much to me. Anyway, I hope you have got all the ideas that you need to build an amazing city and I'll see you later.